An electric car will be compatible with one or two different charging connections. This will always include either Type 1 or Type 2, which you need for home charging. Though all newer EU market electric vehicles or EVs now use Type 2, Type 1 connectors are more commonly found in some older and US market cars. If your car is capable of rapid charging, it'll also have a Chadono or CCS connector for when you're topping up at rapid charging points on the road. CCS adds an additional two prongs to the Type 2 connector and Chadamo has its own separate socket. Your car will probably come with a cable that you can plug into a regular three pin wall socket, though this is the slowest way to charge and can take up to 24 hours or more to fill the battery. So it's a simple way to get started and a handy backup, but not recommended for everyday use. If you have off street parking, the quicker alternative is to use a wall box charger. These need to be installed and wired directly into your electricity supply and can cost around £1,000, but they're by far the most efficient way to charge at home. Grants are also available, which we'll get onto later. You'll need to choose a wattage depending on your car and how much your home can supply. Most homes can cope with up to 7.4 kilowatts, and at this rate you could charge up to three times faster than a three pin plug. If you opt for the slowest wattage, 3.4 kilowatts, the charger itself will be cheaper, but it'll take longer to charge. If your car can take a higher power supply, you can get faster charging wall boxes of up to 22 kilowatts. But for one of these, you need a three phase electricity supply and the majority of UK homes only have single phase. You can find out what you have by checking your fuse box. One fuse means single phase, three fuses means three phase. Most of the UK electricity network does support three phase though, so if your charging speed is important to you, contact your energy supplier to see if you can upgrade. You'll also need to decide whether you want your wall box to come with a cable attached or not. As all newer EU market cars have Type 2, if you have an older Type 1 car, you'd be best off getting untethered, just in case you want to use it with a newer Type 2 model in future. You can also get smart wall boxes, and here's where the government grant comes in. Smart wall boxes can be set to charge during off-peak times when demand on the grid is lowest and electricity is at its cheapest. Though this function will depend on your tariff. You can get a grant to cover up to 75% of the cost of buying and installing your wall box up to the value of £350. But this only applies to smart wall boxes. Plus, if you're in Scotland, you can get an extra £300 on top. Smart wall boxes are more expensive, but with the grants, along with potential savings on your electricity bill, they're well worth considering. For the latest car news, as well as the products we've tested and loads more consumer advice, click the link on screen to sign up to our free Buy Smart newsletter. And for more videos like this, subscribe to the Witch YouTube channel.